Hey, how's it going guys? This is Matthew here from Gadget University. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys how to apply the simple and minimal theme that Ultralinks created. Um, ever since I did a developer spotlight on him uh, last week, a lot of people have been asking, how did you do that? What, what launcher are you using? What programs are you using? Uh, so today I wanted to show you a, a, how you do a complete transformation. Uh, I'm going to try to go through it as quick as possible because you know how YouTube limits it down to 10 minutes. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is uh, this is your stock your stock launcher, uh, the Froyo launcher, or it doesn't really matter what launcher you have, but this is your stock launcher. Um, and you're going to need some programs to do this. You're going to need Launcher Pro. Uh, you, can, you can get the paid version. I recommend the paid version. Go ahead and support the developers. They did a great job. Um, you, can, you need DigiClock. And you're going to need uh, an application called uh, Tom, uh, T-A-J-M. Also, another application called BatStat. All of these will be listed in the description at the bottom, so don't worry. Uh, I will list these out for you guys. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to install all the applications. So after you have all those installed, uh, you're, you've already done step one. And next thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to go to your Launcher Pro. Okay, once you're in Launcher Pro, uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to find a wallpaper. Um, depending on what you want to use, I've always found things like real simple. Uh, of course, uh, Ultralinks like to, likes to use girls or, or stock um, or like wallpapers from like abstract wallpapers from the web. Um, whatever fits your boat, um, whatever floats your boat, whatever. Uh, you can you can choose it. Um, basically, you just do it like normal wallpaper. You go to gallery. I always start with my wallpaper because it helps me get a good idea of what theme I'm going to start with uh, or how I'm going to place my icons. So you go. You can go here, and here's where I have some of my other stuff. So let's do um, let's do this icon. So basically, you're going to select that. Okay, now you have your wallpaper. Next, you're going to go here and you're going to find a dock. Now, you go to the dock, you go to the parent settings, dock background. Now, all these docks, and you can have custom docks here with Launcher Pro, but all these docks that I'm using for my, uh, a, my minimal theme, um, I've gotten from Ultralinks' website, uh, which will be in the the uh, the location at the bottom of the link. I mean, at the uh, des description. I'm sorry. So in the description, make sure you check out Ultralinks' website. It has a whole bunch of docs that you can use. Um, I've already downloaded them to my phone. So these are a list of these are all the docs that you can use. Okay. Uh, the one I'm going to use is actually within the minimal uh, theme that he created. So I'm going to choose this doc. Back to Launcher Pro. So I already have my dock done. There we go. Okay. Next, uh, you're going to remove all these icons. You don't want them. You don't want them no more. They're, they're ugly. They're you make your screen clouded, or crowded. Uh, so get rid of them. Okay. Then these two right here, you're going to change the shortcut to blank. You don't want any functionality right there. Um, with Launcher Pro, you can have multiple icons there. You can. This is your choice. Um, if you have no icons on your desktop, I mean your home screen, the best thing to do is keep your main functions here: apps, phone, and messages. So, if you want to, you can put other options here, so that way nobody can see it. It just looks like a clean home screen. And then when you really need something like Twitter or Facebook, you can swipe it to the right and touch it. So I'm gonna leave that there um, just to show you how to do it later. But I, I don't really prefer it myself. Uh, so next, what you're going to do is you're going to change the shortcut for this one to uh, the phone. So applications, phone. And you're going to do a custom icon. Now, this dock is from the minimal text theme. But I actually have some other icons that I got from his website. 
So I'm going to use that one. Same thing with this one. This one's already at the app drawer, so you're just going to change the icon on this one. Custom icon. Actually, I don't want to use anything on here. I messed that up. Uh, you're going to go to... I have it on my SD card. Okay. Um, app launcher. And change icon for this one. Custom icon. Let's go to the SD card again. And we're going to choose text messages. Alright, so we're, all, we're pretty much almost done. Now you're going to add... Now you're going to need to get rid of this top bar because this is ugly up here. I don't like that. We're going to get rid of that. So you go into the preferences, appearance settings, check that box, high notification bar, hit the back button. Boom, it's gone. There you go. Now you're going to add some widgets. First thing you're going to do is you can do the bat stat. This will show the bat, the battery statistics in a spelled out number. Uh, disable the wallpaper, however you want to do it. And... Uh, not disable the wallpaper. Hold on. That's uh, kind of out of focus. Hold on. Let me get you guys focus. There we go. Bad stat. And uncheck that. Next. There you go. You see it? It's kind of hard with my camera. I apologize about that. So it has 91%. And then next you're going to go to... Digiclock. Now, I you can use Digiclock or you can use the T A J M. I can't say it. Sorry about that. Um, or you can use this. Now, this will show the t the time in the same way that the battery is shown. So it shows it like uh, all spelled out. If you can see it, hold on. And me on focus. There you go. Like that. So if you like that, you can choose that option. Me personally, it, I like it sometimes, but sometimes I don't. So I'm going to show you how, how I did my most recent one. Um, you go to 24 hour. There we go. Just like that. Now you're probably going to have to customize the 24 hour uh, clock a little bit or even the 12 hour clock because I think by default it's automatically a uh, it's automatically black. So you're going to have to change it to, to white. Um, that's in the settings for uh, DigiClock. Um, but there you go. That's how you make a theme, um, a minimal theme. It's simple, sleek, and there you go. Just like that. Um, like I said, you can go here and you can change these, change the application to browser or something like that. So that way when you need to, to uh, default icon, that way when you need to get to it, you can just go like this. But I already have my uh, wallpaper. I already have mine stored. So I'm going to show you one I made earlier. That's one of the good things about Launcher Pro too. You can create a uh, backup of your home screen. So that way you can get rid of it and bring it back later. Okay. And after I apply my uh, restore my backup, here I go. Here it goes. Uh, so you got the simple background. And that's it. Another cool thing you can download too. I don't know if you guys want to, but the widget is called Switch Pro. And this is kind of like the same thing. Um, you can customize it. So you have all your stuff. And the top of the, yeah, excuse me, the top of the actual wallpaper is bright so that's why it's a uh, bright on top of my screen all right i thank you guys for watching uh, make sure you guys check out gadgetu.net make sure you check out ultralinks.blogspot.com make sure you guys follow me on twitter at gadgetu underscore matt and make sure you follow ultralinks thanks to him uh make sure you follow him on uh, twitter as well it's at ultralinks and i thank you guys for watching um, if you want to, go ahead and do some screenshots and post it back up on the forums and uh, uh, let me know. All right. I'll take